Hey Cloud Gamers, so Cyberpunk 2077 is finally here, so we had a look at GeForce Now and what the best settings are to get your full ray tracing goodness. You'll be good to know that we managed to get 60 frames per second with full ray tracing except for lighting on medium, as long as DLSS is on balanced and you use the high preset with motion blur turned off. And as you can see here, as we look at the car and the mechanic, and we do some work in the engine here, the Ray tracing and DLSS are working absolutely brilliantly together and we can see those lighting effects all around. This is one of the cleanest views I've seen across all the cloud platforms that we've tried so far and you can bet that there's going to be a comparison coming very soon. Special shout out to NVIDIA GeForce Now for providing a GOG or GOG as I like to call it key for this game for us to give it a try as soon as it was launched and also a special mention for GOG so that you can link your account in game and you can pick up some extra stuff so you can get the Witcher Wolf School jacket or a GOG Galaxy t-shirt or a black unicorn blade just by linking up your GOG account. As we go for the drive around here you can see the wonderful lighting effects on the car and the ray tracing effects on the windows and the side of the car as well. And you can see that we're getting that 60 frames per second looking and moving around. It's extremely smooth. So we go into one of the more action sequences then. A little bit later on where we have a bit of a car chase scene. Again we can see GeForce Now is not having any issues here moving around. And you can see the ray tracing effects again on the side of the cars with the lighting and everything else. And to be honest, it looks absolutely crystal clear. And I was using a PlayStation 4 Bluetooth controller on my PC with no input latency issues at all. You can see those explosions really popping with the 2080 D rig here. This is really more of a playable cutscene, although it is rendered based on your graphics. As we move over to some of the Night City cutscene here, then we can see some of those effects on the character models and the ray tracing on the lighting indoors is absolutely phenomenal. And we can see those lighting effects in the mirrors now as well. You can see those aging effects as our character gets a little bit older, as he gets a bit wiser here. So we skipped through a bit here just to show off some of the better effects. Then get into one of the kind of main missions to show you some raw gameplay. Again with the underground here we can see those kind of mist and light effects. Really does look phenomenal on GeForce now. I can't wait to see how this scales on the Shield Pro with its upscaling to 4K later. And we will be comparing this against the other cloud platforms as well in the next day. As we come through then to start the mission, you can see that quality even just on the overlay kind of plastic sheeting here and also the character model as we dispose of that body. Obviously got to get that important loot and then we're going to go through and see if we can surprise the guys waiting in the other room. So things are going to get quite loud and I'm going to leave you with some gunplay here so that you can see all of the effects and the fun of Cyberpunk 2077 in all of its glory. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest across all cloud gaming platforms, and I will see you next time.
Where the hell's our target? 